be talking to you about the top 10 items that were purchased through my recommendation for the year of 2021. Yes, you heard me correctly, for the year of 2021. If you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here on my channel. And if you find these items interesting as you go through the video and want some ideas of how to style them, please go check out my Instagram as well. I will put the link down in the description box for you if you are interested in following along in seeing how I have styled them previously and how I will continue to use these items throughout the next year. I will start off by saying when I pulled this report, I was totally shocked because all of the items, every single one, as you can tell, I'm sitting here thinking about that, is from Nordstrom. So let's jump right into this. And if you have purchased any of these items that I talk about here in this video, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. So I know that you have gotten it and what you think of it as well. So let's jump right into it. The first item, which is the number 10 item that I'm gonna talk about is a pair of booties. These booties are from Mark Fisher. And when I got them, I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about them. I knew I was gonna love the style of the booty, the pointed toe, the more elastic kind of pull on area, the block heel. What I wasn't sure of was the color. I have previously owned a pair of white booties and they were patent leather, so that was probably part of it. This is regular, just smooth, no shine leather. And I love these. I have worn these so many times, so many times. I have more than gotten my money's worth out of these. These also have been going on and off of sale. Last I saw, the white was sold out, but they came out with it in a new style that looks just like this. The only difference is the front cuts down instead of going up. But... The reason I love these is because of the color not being a really bright in your face white and then the added bonus of the wooden heel and base to it. It breaks it up so it's not quite so in your face of a white booty. It is very subtle in color. It goes with everything you own. I wear it with black. I wear it with blue. I wear it with every color under the rainbow. As I mentioned, if you check out my Instagram, you will see these all over the place because I really do love them and wear them so often. So those booties have definitely been not just a top seller for the year, but a all time favorite of mine for the year. Number nine is a skirt that I got. And if you follow me during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I had ordered this because it was all the rage and it was what everybody was talking about. And it is the Castellan Knit. It is a sweater skirt with a side slit to it. And I had ordered it and I was like, I'm going to get it in. I'm going to try it on because it's a trend and I'm not going to like it. And I'm going to send it back. I was so wrong. It is amazing. I have since then bought a sweatshirt one that I think is my treasure and bond. These are like wearing sweatpants or like a super cozy like jogger in a skirt. I wear it with those white booties that I just talked about. It is so, so, so comfy, so stretchy. It's so good, guys. It's really that, that good. It is sold out in the black, but the green is still in stock. And I will link another option that I found in a black that looks very, very similar. Number eight is another one that I was very shocked by. And I knew I wanted to give it a try, but I was like, eh, I just wasn't wowed. I was like, okay, it'll be fine. I'll give it a try. And these are the Spanx and they are the perfect pant. And it is a skinny pant at the back. It has a little bit of a side slit, it is a little bit tighter. Now it's not as tight as a traditional legging. It's more along the lines of a fit similar to a jean, but it feels like a legging. Guys, your legs look amazing in these. They are so comfortable. They feel like wearing a legging. The pocket in the front is not a real pocket. The pocket in the back, actually, let me check that. Nope, it is not a real pocket in the back either. They pull on, they run true to size, and they are so good. I am so glad I got them. Since I got these, I have since purchased the flare leg version as well, and I love those too. Number seven. Number seven is like a cow neck turtleneck style of top. It is a tunic. It is from Caslon. It was something that was available during the anniversary sale. I got it in this kind of like 
It's a dark heathered gray. It is so comfortable. It is perfect for over a pair of leggings. You can throw on a booty with it. You can wear a big jacket with it. It's that right texture of material that it's not too thick or too thin. It's still gonna keep you warm, but it's not like a t-shirt material where it's too thin, but you can also layer over it because it's not too thick. Number six. Number six is a top from Treasure and Bond. It comes in two colors. This is actually blue and white. When I originally ordered it, I thought it was black and white. This is a thermal. So this is a little bit thicker than your t-shirt, but not as thick as like your Castellan, as we had talked about. This is so nice. It has this beautiful kind of like raised seaming detail. It is true to size. I got it in a size large. I love it. It is a great length. You can tuck it in. You can leave it out. It's kind of a high-low side to side. It has this great little ribbing down at the sleeve. I love the Henley materials, but I don't tend to love that button front Henleys. This is kind of more of a cow neck version of that. Super soft, very, very stretchy, and very comfy. Number five. Number five is another item from Treasure and Bond, and it is a V-neck sweater. So you've got your deeper V here. It is a very, very lightweight sweater. I have this in the color black. It is not super long, but it is not super short. It's a good in-between. It is a lighter weight. I prefer lighter weight sweaters for layering under like a blazer, and then I wear a thicker, chunkier sweater if I really want something for warmth. But this sweater is an item that they always have at Nordstrom. It is a really, really great item if you want good layering pieces. The number four item is actually an item that I did not keep during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And it's from Blank NYC, and it is their cinched waist denim shirt. It was a chambray color. I loved the look of it, but I am more of an hourglass figure. That cinched waist looked great, but I realized the things I would be wearing that top with would tend to be leggings. Just the style I like. I like more of a t-shirt with a denim chambray shirt over it. And that shirt was made to be worn open or closed and kind of over something that's a little bit longer. I'll have a picture in here somewhere for you. But I felt like I looked too hippie in that. And that is something that I personally try and stay away from as far as my styling. So after I put it on, and I always suggest this for you guys too, is take a photo or take a video of yourself wearing an item and then look back at it before you decide whether you're keeping it or returning it. Because when I looked back at the photos and the videos when I had done them, I realized that wasn't the most flattering fit on me. So I actually didn't keep that item. But it is still available on Nordstrom's site if you are interested in checking it out. The number three item is from Chanel. And I forgot how much I love this. And it is their, and it is their CC cream. And the full name is a little crazy. It is CC cream, correct, complete, super active, complete correction sunscreen with broad spectrum with SPF 50. Now I do have it in two colors. I have the color 40 and 50. This is what I use throughout the summer. And when I pulled these out to do this video, I actually thought to myself, I love this so much that I ordered it in a lighter color for me now. Because during the winter, I lose a lot of color in my skin. I am a super pale skin person with pink undertones. So in the winter, my skin is totally different than my more bronze kind of warm undertone in the summers. And so I am so glad that this video happened because this just sparked an interest for me and I just picked up another one. This is not like your typical CC cream. I will mention this has an amazing coverage to it. This just stays on beautifully and has your SPF to it. So it's a great item if you're also someone who's just running to the gym or wants something for running errands that has a good coverage but also has that SPF barrier to it. Number two, number two is a pair of Dolce Vita sandals, okay? So these are in a nude color. They come in a ton of different colors. I actually also have a similar pair. They are not from Dolce Vita, they are from Schultz, and they are bright pink, but the Dolce Vita was the seller. It is this beautiful braided detail in two spots. It has a squared off toe. I actually personally prefer the squared off toe 
for me in this sandal than the Schultz, which has a rounded toe. This has a good thick heel to it, so it has a lot of support for you in the summertime. This shoe is an amazing shoe that is gonna dress up an outfit, but is still super comfortable, but very, very, very stylish with that toe and the braided detail. This goes with jeans, this goes with dresses, this goes with skirts, this goes with shorts. This is a shoe that's going to take you through so many seasons. I wore this spring, summer, and fall. It is absolutely amazing. I did purchase them through Nordstrom and they're no longer sold on Nordstrom. They are sold right now through DSW. So they're less expensive than what I had paid for them. And as I mentioned, they have so many colors in this. Number one, this item last year and this year was in my top 10 sellers for the year twice two years in a row it is that good guys it is from a brand called blank noir and the funny part is is i had owned a piece from them previously that i bought at a boutique years ago and i didn't realize it was the same brand until later and this jacket is actually considered a part of an athleisure this isn't considered like a more structured blazer like what i have on and it is actually considered a hooded moto blazer with like faux leather sleeves the detailing in these faux sleeves with this stitching the same thing on the back the stitching is stunning this looks so expensive. Now, as I mentioned, it is considered more athleisure. You can wear this. I have worn this over leggings. I have worn it with jeans and sneakers. I have worn it dressed up. It is so versatile. It also has a hood on it when it's raining. You can just throw it on. It is something I have thrown in the laundry, guys. I don't dry clean this. It just goes in my laundry and every time it comes out looking amazing. It has beautiful detailing down on the pockets. They are zipped closed, so if you're going to the gym, you can throw your keys in it. This jacket is so versatile. I totally get why it has been a bestseller for two years in a row. It is that good, guys. It has been on the Nordstrom anniversary sale for two years in a row. Usually it hits two years and then we lose it. So we don't usually see it again another year after that. But I have also found this brand on another website, which I know I found it on Amazon. And then I think it was something else like Shop Bop or something like that. But it is so good. If you are looking for an in-between your moto jacket or a blazer, this is a mix and it is long enough to cover your butt so it's not going to be a shorter moto jacket but it's not going to be your typical length of a blazer either so those were my top 10 sellers for the year of 2021 i hope you enjoyed this style of video if you have any questions on any of the items i talked about here i am always here to answer them for you so please put them down below and if you picked any of these items up i would love to hear your thoughts about them down below and if you are new around here and you enjoyed this style of video please subscribe and follow along here and as i mentioned if you would like to see how i style these items you can also check me out over on instagram and i will put that link down below as always thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day